Marie-Louise Bottineau Baldwin was a Native American activist, attorney, and advocate for equal rights for women. Baldwin was a member of the Turtle Mountain Chippewa Nation. She was appointed by President Theodore Roosevelt to a position in the Office of Indian Affairs. At that time, the federal government promoted a policy of assimilation, but Baldwin wore traditional dress in her 1911 personnel photo. She became a lawyer, like her father, but at a late age, enrolling in law school at Washington College of Law at the age of 49. She marched in the massive 1913 women's suffrage procession in Washington, D.C., and was involved in the women's movement. A reporter once asked her if she was a suffragist. She said, Did you ever know that the Indian women were among the first suffragists and that they exercised the right of recall? In some tribes, women not only elected the tribe's chief, but could remove him if they thought he was not a good leader. Baldwin continued, The trouble in this Indian question which I meet again and again is that it is not the Indian who needs to be educated so constantly up to the white man, but that the white man needs to be educated to the Indian. This has been 60 Second Civics, a podcast of the Center for Civic Education. I'm Mark Gage. Mark Gage.